Good morning, everyone. Treasure Troller here from the partially mask wearing militant state of Michigan. So I watched one of Styx's vlogs this morning. I think he put two out that since I'm not a subscriber, I only get two. He was talking about some predictions and he decided to make a prediction with the militant state of Michigan. And that was that the uh, governor and dictator Gretchen Whitmer would remain our governor and dictator. Well, I for one hope that that long-haired bastard is wrong. But <clears throat> Michigan is a difficult state for Republicans. Mostly because of Wayne County. Uh, D Detroit is just so heavily Democratic. Uh, it, it is a very difficult voting block to, to break. But I think there, there are some things that <coughs> the Republicans can do to at least make it a fight. First thing is the Trump factor. If uh, Donald will, you know, will back the back the Republican candidate and maybe come in here and stump for him, that could be a factor. The Trump factor could be a factor. The second thing is, I really think they need to get Whitmer to I guess agree with a lot of the Biden agenda. That she is uh, approves of it. What's going on? And um, tie her even more directly with Biden. I mean, when 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 Biden was taking office, she was one of the darling Democrats to uh, maybe take the you know the vice president position. So get her to to say that she's in support of uh, the Biden agenda that could help also uh, the one factor that remains out there is when Biden is removed or decides decides to leave after the midterm elections They're going to need a new vice presidential candidate. <clears throat> I mean, for a Democrat, that that is the path at least to uh, to being the presidential uh, candidate in 2024. That if Biden is dismissed and Kamala takes office the vice president really has the best chance of being the democratic candidate because there's no one out there and Kamala is going to be associated with the first two years and then the mess she's going to create for the next two there's no way they're going to support her so I guess if if someone in the Democratic Party had aspirations of running uh, for the presidency that would be a a pretty easy route there but the other thing too with with Michigan is or if Whitmer is there hasn't been like a lot of scandals or anything you can really hang around her neck. I mean, there's been, she got in office because of the Flint water crisis. 
there was very few people that were willing to hold their nose and vote for any Republican candidate when they were part of the administration that oversaw the Flint water crisis. You just were not going to uh, make any headway there. And there's nothing like that to hold over Whitmer. The only thing you can really hold over Whitmer is how much of an agreement she has been with the Biden Build Back Better uh, plan. The inflation, the high gas prices, you know, um, the border, all that kind of stuff. So I guess you either go easy on her and hope she becomes uh, vice president or you hammer her hard and get her to talk about how much she approved of the Biden administration's uh, policies. But I hope that bastard's wrong. I really do. Uh, I can, personally, I can see it kind of going both ways right now. Um, I, I think it's, uh, I don't know. I think it's 50-50, but like, like I said, Wayne County is just such a tough hurdle to get over for anyone because it just it's it's just always going to vote Democratic for the most part um, it's it's tough to uh, to get past that so here's hoping you're wrong sticks this is Treasure Troller saying aloha and good day